well Mevy's in rehab this weekend after his cycling so I brought the A team out hey. morning morning and look at this weather Beautiful. we're in the Peak District you know recognize him Louis mm. hey are you out in the sun so we come up to the Peak District for a weekend and uh, we'll just come out for a nice wonder see what happens but what I want to do in this video is answer a load of questions. I've had uh, quite a few comments and a load of questions sent to me over the last few months really and I've sort of neglected them so e easier than writing them all up on the comments and trying to explain them I thought I'd add them into this video. So throughout this video I'll answer probably not all but most of the questions that people have sent us. Don't want to sleep tonight at all Just want to watch them stars fall But you don't want to try to make up dreams Just to be seen I want to lay here beside you Oh quiet First question, what does CAT0 stand for? Well CAT0 stands for, or a shortened version of Category 0, which is the uh, commercial endorsement insurance level of a commercial vessel. So our yacht is Category 0, which means there are no limits, it can go anywhere. So we named the organisation after the yacht CAT0. So Category 0 means that and no navigational restrictions, it can go anywhere in the world. It's the highest safety standards. Question two, what was my first job? Well, my first job was fitting tyres and tubes to BMX bikes in a factory in Hull when I was 15. Next question, how long have me and Joe known each other? Since 1988, July 88, that was the year. And how long have we been engaged? Since... December 88. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not one to rush into anything. No. We like to take our time on the <laughs> How old is Louis? Louis's five and his birthday is New Year's Day. Hi you, Lou. Five years of age. Louis? Are you five? And we got him when he was just over one. That church over there. Do you know what's famous about that church, Joe? Oh, tell me, Dave. You tell me every time we come here. And what's famous about that church, Joe? <laughs> I can't remember now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you obviously little, don't listen to me. I don't, little John's buried there. Yeah, Robin Hood's little John's buried there. Yeah. Did and you, you know told that? me that factoid probably about 300 times. <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> what was our first camper van? Well, sad to say, really, our first vehicle that we had a bed in and the stove in was a long wheelbase safari land rover a straight six petrol and we had that for a few years joe used to drive that more than i did because i had a company car but i suppose that was the one we could actually camp in and then we've had various things since then over the years so what's the chips go then joe i haven't tried it yet i think they were a bit hot yet they look big enough Seven. Seven. Very nice. Whip it's got a nice floor to light. <laughs> we've got something for you. Got that? Oh. You are posh. I have to hold it for you while you eat it. What do you like? Hmm? Huh? 
I'll hold it for me, Dad. I don't want to eat off the floor. I'm living. Where did the cat chips go come from? Cat Can, who was one of our subscribers, um, we were eating chips <laughs> as we do, <laughs> and Cat suggested that we do a chip score because we were saying, oh yeah, these are quite good, and we'd had some in Leek which were like 10 out of 10. Um, so that's where cat, the cat chip score came from because it was their suggestion. There you go, the cat chip score. What's Louis's favourite toy? <laughs> a ball with a piece of string on it. Are you ready? This way, this way, this way, this way. He <laughs> <laughs> loves that ball. Goodbye. This way. Bye. Come on. Here. Again. Again. Where do you think we'll be and what do you think we'll be doing in five years time? Ooh. We have a plan, don't we? We do. Well, hopefully I'll be retired by then. I've got another four or so years to do at work. And Joe wants to retire early, don't you? Yep. And we hope to move up to North Yorkshire somewhere, get a small cottage and spend the UK summer in the UK and then in the winter months we want to be in the camper van touring around Europe. Yeah. That's the plan isn't it? That's the plan. Testing chips and drinking beer. And wine. And wine. And Prosecco. <laughs> and Prosecco. And gin. <laughs> and gin. You have <laughs> a long list don't you? <laughs> and letting a whip it run on beaches. Yeah. You might have a brother or sister by then might you? You might yeah. You might end up having two. So we might have to modify the camper van to have a bigger bed. <laughs> Or somebody said recently, I can always sleep on the floor. Yeah, we'll get you an awning. Thanks, that's good. I'll have the dogs and the bed, you can have the awning. It's all about priorities. What does Joe do as a job? Ooh, working IT. <laughs> <laughs> so you basically tell people to switch it off. Yeah, switch, switch it back it on. on again. Yeah. I'm an IT, I'm a business systems team manager. Switch it off. Wait a bit, switch it back on every day. No, it's not really simple as that. <laughs> <laughs> what do we feed Louis? Can you remember what it's called? Mutz and... Mutz and pooch. Mutz and pooch. So he gets um, a wet meat in a small sachet, he doesn't have much of it, which is called mutz and... Mutt and pooch, something like that. Yeah. Um, we actually come across it because it was a free gift at Camp Quirky and he really liked it, so we, we give him a bit of that. And then he has dry biscuits. And uh, he loves these sausages, that uh, dried sausages from uh, Pets at Home. Yeah, he has a couple of them and then we normally give him a little bit of what we've had, maybe some um, potato and veg with a little bit of um, beef. Best beef. Best beef. He does get a spark, as you can imagine. Uh, and that's it really, isn't it? He doesn't get any sweet stuff or he, ve he very rarely has stuff he shouldn't have. Or at the moment, quite passionate to a bit of grass. Is that nice, Louis? <laughs> Does that taste nice? Mm -hmm. Some flowers, high grass, and beer feet. Oh, to each second is a tree. It, I keep my balance next to you. It's true. Nowadays there's nothing I wouldn't do for you Fire breath and open sky It's not what we know It's where we go Your favourite drink? Mm. I suppose tea? Tea? Coffee? Not coffee for me, no. No, coffee for me. Tea and coffee for me and beer and my favorite beer is the one that you can only get out of the Beachy, which is the Beckwater one but i do also like Thigston's and you, i like wine you like to wine don't you yeah you good at wine say that. <laughs> yeah I quite, <laughs> I quite like the odd gin now and again mm -hmm. 
I like cocktails. Hmm? And Louis, what do you like? Mainly water. What's the best job you've ever had? I like the job I've got at the moment. I really love the job and the people I work with. Um, but when I was younger, I suppose it was, uh, I was an outdoor pursuits instructor and I used to take kids on expedition to Canada canoeing. That was brilliant. What was your favourite job? Well, I worked in a news agent when I was at school and that was really good. Weighing out all the sweets and doing the papers, paper bills, um, all sorts really. It was good. Enjoyed it. We had a laugh. Why haven't we taken our camper van over to Europe? Well, I suppose it's about time and work commitments and dog passport. Um, but we do intend to. We might get over there this year, off to see. How do we find our kept park ups? Well, we use pack for night, like most people do. And um, Wild Camping App, it's the one that Geeky Phil runs. And uh, I suppose we've been doing this for a long time. So certainly in the UK, we know many spots and we've used them time and time again. So Google Earth, Google Maps, and uh, as you're driving by these places, just drop a marker on your GPS and you can always go back to them. Louis, our first dog? No. Um, if you see some of our early videos, or... Um... Ooh. <laughs> just falling over. If you see some of our early videos, you'll see a black and white whippet, or a blue and white whippet as it's called, called Ben. He was our first whippet. And prior to that, uh, I'd had two other dogs. Jo had had cats when she was younger. My dad had a cross red set of Labrador, and then a three cornered accident rescue dog. That uh, was really my mum's dog. You ready for a cup of tea? Yeah. Definitely. Cup of tea in the siesta? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Why have you been? God. <laughs> for a wee loo. You stay there, Lulu. You stay there. Beautiful. It won't be long. It's okay. You stay there. Are you okay? Beautiful, yeah. You stay and look out the window. What size is our camper van? It's a mid wheelbase, high roof crafter, 2017. It's a two litre. Have we got a shower and toilet in our camper van? Well, we've got a toilet, but we haven't got a shower, but we've got a shower in the back. So, mainly if we've been in the sea or something like that, we want to get the salt with us. We can open the back doors, put some water in the tank, and there's a shower unit in the back. How much have we spent on our camper van? about 35,000 in total well, so far. What cameras do we use for YouTube? Well, I'm currently filming this on an Osmo Pocket. I have a Osmo Action. We also have an iPhone 10 that we use. We do have some cheap copy GoPros, 70 quid GoPros that we use for kayaking and caving and where they potentially could get destroyed. But they've stood up well for what they are. They do, do record in 4K. Do we have solar on the roof? We've got 300 watts of solar on the roof, but it's actually underneath the roof rack. It's not that efficient, but on a sunny day it does top up the batteries and when the camper van's in the driveway not being used it keeps the batteries charged. But we upgraded the batteries and we've got 560 amp power of batteries. We don't have an inverter and everything works off 12 volts so we can be off grid with no solar for about 3 or 4 days and still have power. 